Hello, welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I take another first look, this time at The Vagrant. It is by OTK Games, and it releases into Steam Early Access on June 9th, 2017. I just got back into the saddle, ladies and gentlemen, so to speak. I'm back home. This is the second recording, third, third, I think, third recording I've done since my 15-day vacation. I have no idea what's going to come out of my mouth. I have no idea what my video game skills are going to be like, so bear with me as I probably make a fool out of myself. We're probably just going to do a one-off first look until this game comes out of Steam Early Access. I may play around with it a bit on my own just to see. I think it's going to be really cool. I really do want to play it, but I also don't want to play you know, the vast majority of it or a real big chunk of it and then have to redo it once the game fully releases. So. Look for this to come in the future to the channel when it comes out of Steam Early Access. I don't know the plans for Steam Early Access, how long it's going to be there or anything else. But, we're about to find out some stuffs. Vivian, what does this book do, or have to do, with my father's missing? This maiden, Vivian, is on the journey to Mithrilia, a place where her father and sister lost were her were last heard of? Where, where her father and sister lost were last heard of. Maybe where her lost father and sister were last heard of? Sorry guys, gals, I, I tend to fall apart when sentence structure is different than what I normally use, so bear with me if I'm completely making a horrible, horrible uh, mistake here on all my phrasings and stuff. Bonsoir, mademoiselle! <laughs> also, I'm just... I, I don't pronounce things correct, so just be aware of that. That's, that's a thing. Anyway, who is it? It is me, the man with the large finger. Pathetic and painful, abandoned by one's fate. One's obsession will finally lead to destructive consequences. That is a giant owl man, I think. Who, who are you? What are you trying to say? Life is suffering. What are you talking about? Or what you talking about? Let the tempest speak for you. Release your deepest desire. So clearly they need to touch up a little bit on the the words, but that's okay. That's okay. That's why it's going into Steam Early Access, letting people get their hands on the game and being able to enjoy it a bit. All right, tutorial movement. I'm using a controller. I'm using a PS3 controller acting as an Xbox 360 controller. So, there you have it. Um, left, right, double press to run, crouch, uh, okay, and jump. Also, the analog stick seems to work, too. I'll probably be using the D-pad, though. But we'll see. I might use a combination of all of them. Or both of them, I should say. Okay, simple enough. Tutorial for combat. Continuously press the X button to perform combo attacks. Press the Y to use your charge attack. Charge attack and break enemies' defense. Press the right trigger to evade enemy attacks. And now we have skills. To perform a skill, the impulse blade, you can assign skills in the skill section of the menu interface. Your skills can be unlocked by obtaining specific items. Oh, okay. Uh, Alright. I got this. It looks cool. Oh! Charge blade! Did I defeat him? No. Get wrecked. Eh. Eh. Apparently you can't do a strong attack while jumping. Maybe you can do a weaker attack. Ooh, some really bad stuff seems to have happened in uh, the transit here. It's a storm! There's no way this ship could get over with this. Okay. What shall I do? Ah! The ship was teared, was torn apart by the storm while Vivian struggled for surviving, struggled to survive. Her conscience was overflowed by this roar of high sea. Yeah, definitely some translation errors right now, but again, it's okay. It's Steam Early Access. It's okay. Stuff like this doesn't bother me. Sometimes it's funny to see, but it doesn't bother me all that much. As long as the finished product has everything right. And the gameplay and everything is solid through early access. Gives people something to sink their teeth into. I'm totally fine with it. 
Glaring sunshine showering the land, Vivian has finally been awakened for the disaster just happened. Uh, <coughs> finally, land. Uh, thank God my sword is still with me. Well, you swam with a sword? That's impressive. And those look like heavy gloves. Yeah. Yep. Help! Could really use some help as... Uh, well, while I can still... But the starvation is killing me. Help! Ah! It's gonna bite me! I'd be more worried about it goring you. It's a boar and it points like a pig. Oh. Okay. What you got? Don't hurt me! I'm a duh! I'm a delicate flower! Eh, eh. Good day, eh? Yeah! First try! Thank you, my good lady! You saved my life! My name is Lucia. My name is Vivian, miss. That was close. Where is this place? Well, this is... Brokely Village? Broccoli? Brokely. We'll say Brokely Village. Where are you from, Vivian? You look soaked, by the way. There was a storm, or an storm. There was a storm, and my ship sank. The moment I opened my eyes, I was here. It may not be the best time, but could you spare me something to eat? Certainly, my dear. That is the least I can do to repay your kindness. You saved my life, after all. Although you lost your ship, but the mermaids must be quite fond of you to bring you here. Fair enough. Hmm. Please follow me to my house. I would very like to have dinner with you. Very much like to have dinner with you? I would like very much to have dinner with you. Ah, it's fine. I'm not going to rewrite it, guys and gals. I'm not going to rewrite it. I can't read that. That is... Like, I don't have time to read it. Like, I could probably do it, but it would be difficult. That was some weird text. Maybe if they're going to use that text, make it a bit larger so it's a little bit clearer. I see, although it may not be the exact port you were sailing to, nevertheless, we are in Mithrilia. This side of the island is much safer compared to the place you were heading, at least. Well, couldn't hurt. I didn't have a specific plan anyway. It's just a small village here. A village here. I wouldn't expect you could find anything interesting. You should go to Wheat Wheaton. You know, it's a huge town. I've always wanted to visit there. Such a nice place and lots of people. Good idea. I think I will go have a look at this Wheaton. Or Wheaton. Vivian, yes. Could you help me? Couldn't hurt to just hear it. And you promise not to tell anyone about this? Sure. I need to go to Wheaton across the forest south of the village. There are beasts in the wood. I really cannot go by myself. Here are some of my savings. Please have it and take me to the Wheaton, please. Or to Wheaton, please. If you say so, I think I can handle a couple of boars. Oh, thank you, Vivian. That's such a release. Relief. I'm going to get some stuff for our travel, Lucia. I will catch you soon. Also, keep in mind, guys and gals, I'm playing this before release, so even when it does go into Steam Early Access, it's possible that, that the language has been cleaned up a bit. I don't know. I'm not promising anything, but it is possible. Oftentimes, they get like a loose story and they just type it up real quick. Uh, maybe they're from a you know a different place and they're just roughly translating it into English now, and they're gonna you know they're gonna tighten it all up as it goes. So this might even be different from what you guys experience if you do pick it up in Steam Early Access the day that it comes out. I don't know. I'm sure there's going to be a patch. Could be wrong, though. I don't know. I'm just saying. That is a possibility, and I have seen that before, that even going from pre-Steam Early Access into Steam Early Access, there are big changes. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I'm going to get some stuff for our travel, Lucia. I will catch you soon. Of course, I will meet you at the south path to the forest. And please, don't tell my family about this. I shall inform them myself. I bet you will. Oh. Tutorial. Treasure chest. To open a treasure chest, you can attack the treasure chest until it opens. Some treasure chests may require a specific key to open. Attempt opening the locked chest without obtaining the key may result losing the items inside. To access the menu interface for changing equipment and browsing, you use that button. All right, uh, left trigger to assign quick potion to heal or recover rage. You can press the left or right bumper to switch equipped quick potion. 
Assign potion quick slots at the equipment menu interface. There will be a cooldown time after using a quick potion. Use another quick potion during the cooldown. Duration will reduce recovery effects. Alright. Press that. I guess that's select to view map for current location and surrounding areas. Uncover or undiscovered areas will be hidden until visited. Alright, so that's the map. Oops. Okay. Interesting. I don't know how much of anything, do we? Alright, so can we just beat this thing to death? Cool. Okay, um... Consumable. I don't want to use it. Sorry guys, I'm going to try to figure out here... How to get the potion things going on. Maybe we just have the one for now. Eh, it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll make do. Alright, I guess we go. Hello, big-haired lady. How are you? Why, well, thank you for saving my lovely daughter. Please let me know if anything I could be... Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Anything I could be assistance. Ch sure. I just broke your weird thing. Oh, can I? I hope I can't hit her. No, okay, I can't. Good. Oh my god, no. What if I accidentally slap a person? I'm stealing all your money. Broke your window. Oh, I thought I was sliding down the wall there for a minute. I'm like, oh, cool. You know, so my, my bumpers are not working. They're not working. Alright, so this is the map, huh? Interesting. Yeah, I gotta say, I, I see why they don't want you to use the analog stick. It is kind of touchy. I would definitely recommend you use a D-pad if you guys have it on your controller. I, I am not a, a big fan of the analog stick for this game, so far from what I've played. Which has basically been the things that you guys have seen me do so far. I've done nothing else. Hello, sir. Are you missing an arm by chance? Hopefully not. What? Another beggar? Lucia got into trouble herself. It's her own fault. Don't expect me to give you anything for saving my sister. Oh, okay. You're welcome. Wee -hee -hee. Wow, we could definitely move quicker by rolling our way to victory. It's in the well. Nothing. I guess we go this way? Can we go into the... Nope. Hello, sir. Welcome to Broclay Village. Uh, you are the traveler brought Lucia back, right? Something like that. Please make yourself at home. I will. Oh, gosh, what happened? Oh, you can save your progress in a save point you find during the game. I will do that. Thank you. Brokely Village. Brokely Village. Sub Farmer Shooty Pants, what's going on? Th th thank you for, for saving my... Fiance, my, my my apologies. I, I I'm stammer. Okay. Sup? That pig does not look like it likes us very much. Should I kill it? Oh, I can. I don't think I want to kill it. Oh, you know that I want to kill it. I picked up a mana crystal. Defeated monsters will drop mana crystal. Convert into mana. Okay. Mana can be used for improving character traits. Enhance weapon in order to build stronger character and assessing new abilities. Accessing new abilities? Uh, mana crystals can be used to or for and to improve and gain access to Vivian's abilities. Find ability in menu interface. Okay, well, I, I guess. Um, gotta stop doing that. Uh, ability. Oh, cool ability tree. Uh, level one. Okay. Toughness level. Strength. Advanced charge attack. Charge attack does more damage. Rolling slash. Rolling slash is able to break enemies' defense. Interesting. You're not qualified to unlock this ability, huh? Okay. 
HP, crit, defense, or attack. We're going to go with attack. I'm not qualified to unlock that ability. Oh, 250 mana. Yeah, we don't quite have enough for that. Not quite there just yet. Sorry about your pig. And probably... Oh, your chicken's running from me. Back here, chicken. I am, yes, I am a chicken chaser. Well, the chicken seems to be invincible, so no chicken chasing. Oh, it's angry, it's coming back. But it'll never keep up with my ability to roll. I will keep rolling until the days are over. Rolling is no longer required. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Best local produces fresh and juicy. Best local produce, fresh and juicy. Don't miss it. Uh, oh, you buy and sell. Okay. Uh, egg, a nice round egg you can find everywhere. 20 HP. Carrot, a big thick carrot that makes perfect ingredient for stew. Good source of protein for uh, vegetarians. Makes a great side dish, either boiled or fried asparagus. Looks very evil. It's an eggplant. Uh, onion, basic cooking ingredient, best for accompanying nearly everything. It is also known by me as the fruit of the devil. I do not like onions, and I realize they're not fruit, but maybe they are. I don't know. It doesn't matter. They're evil. I hate onions. They are the worst. And butter, a solid substance of fat. One of my wife's favorite things in the world. My Next time, then. All right, if you say so. Can we go into your house? We can. I'm breaking your stuff. I am the worst type of house guest. I just come in, break your pottery, and I'm like, nope, no pottery shall stand as long as I am here. Hello, sir. Welcome. Come inside. Have you got any money? No beggars allowed in here. Today's special meat. I have some money now. Yeah. Hi there. How can I help you? Ah, uh, ooh, fried egg. Eh? Oh, percentage based. And a salad. Meh. Huh? Are you not hungry? Or can't pay the bill? Either way, you. Either way, just leave. You are bad for business. Thanks. Love you too. Also, kind of robbed you blind, so, you know, that whole thing. Oh, you can break those little wooden things. You must be the traveler. That saved Lucia. Thank you so much. Please accept this as my t as a token of my gratitude. I will accept that. I will go into your house and oh, that is a creepy looking vampire esque guy. I got a copper goblet. I feel pretty good about that. Hey man. <laughs> Guaranteed working potion. Don't mind the smell. Cool. Eh. Well, there are other options for lower budgets, if you dare to drink it. <laughs> Creepy. I'm breaking everything, because it's what I do. Yeah. Cool. What's up, man? Hey, you. Come over here and have a look at these fine works by me. All right. A soldier's hand. What kind of weapon do we have now? Does it compare them? Uh, it says our attack is 75, but how much is that? How much of that is ours versus how much of it is theirs? It's tough to know. How much gold do we have? I'm sure it's oh, it's over there on, on our portrait. So 738. So we could get this, but it might be just as good as what we have. What if we go to sell? We have a soldier's hand. Okay. Do we have any armor? We do not. Okay. A meat chunk. Well, we can't afford the tower watch or the imp's nail. We can't afford the leather armor. Nope, we can't. That's a thousand. I figured we could, but nope, totally wrong. All right. Well, come back when you've got the money. I always got the money. Eventually, sometimes, occasionally. Am I going the right way? I feel like probably not. I 
feel like we may end up dead. I feel like that bird really wants to kill me, too. Well, even if he did, he also... Oh, this is where we came to the shore with the, the pig and stuff. Cool. Can we go swimming? No? Oh, I'm not sure what the deal is with her, like, one armor-clad arm and then the rest of her completely uncovered, we'll say. For lack of a more accurate term. Well, where does this take us? Are we supposed to meet up with somebody? Oh, I guess this is south. Oh, cool. Some interesting combos. I think this is going to be a really fun game, guys and gals. Sorry that's a little bit uh, slower paced here at the beginning. I am trying to kind of get a little bit out of what the game has to offer. And kind of do it how you would as, you know, your first time playing. It is my first time playing, obviously. So, you know, you would kind of go around, explore, and try to figure out what different things does, you know, what they do and whatnot. So, yeah, it's a little bit weird. Oh, there she is. Let, let go, Vivian. We are likely to encounter some beasts, but I'm sure those things are no match to you. I will follow you closely. Good. Let's do it. Follow me closely. We can go into a tree? That's interesting. Do, do. do we want to go this way? I, I don't... I'm not sure. I feel like she's not following me very closely, I'm just saying. Yeah, eh, whatever. Ooh, we got some cheese. Nice. Uh oh Less nice. Oh, did not, did not plan that out very well. Ah! I'm getting destroyed. Not cool, guys. How you like that, huh? How you like those apples? They're not even apples. I'm going to feed them to you like they were. We got some cheese, too. I mean, I think we can actually eat some food if need be. So we gotta beat down a little bit there. I wonder what that rat thing is. It's a rat thing, of course. Duh. Alright, cool. So that worked out. Whoa. Oh, okay. So apparently he combo broke me, essentially. So just kind of roll through him and do some. Hey, that's cool. It's just going to take a little bit of getting used to what beats what. Alright, so it looks like food does randomly drop when you pick it up. Well, randomly drop. I mean, drop some things that you're fighting. When you pick it up, I, I don't know if it goes into your inventory as well. Oh, as well? Or if it's just something that you eventually... Ah, could not time that very well. It's like the third time I've attempted to jump hit him. And every time I'm like, Okay, I'll go for it net. I'll, I'll go for it net. I'll go for it net. Eh. Hmm. Hmm. Nailed it. Cool. So we got one more mana out of that. We have 103. So we're definitely getting mana decently. So that's essentially the way we're going to be upgrading her skills, stats, attributes. I even think weapons and things of that nature were also supposed to be upgradable by that. I'm not sure where we're supposed to be going. I also don't know if there's a way to maneuver the map. Ooh, I just drank a potion. Don't hit left trigger unless you you mean to, guys. Did it say we were heading toward a boss? I don't think so. Oh, well, it looks like maybe we are going the right way. You must be tired after all this walking. It's okay. I've got some food here. Let's have it together. So, have you told your family yet? Sorry, Vivian. I lied to you. My father forces me to marry someone I don't like. So, he could separate separate me from Alex, my true love. This is the reason me and Alex escaped to Witwan. Witwan. The main road has my brother on watch, so there is no way I can go from there. I will meet Alex in the border once we pass the forest. I'm really sorry, Vivian. You are not supposed to get into this. Are you sure about that? What do you mean? I mean, to get away from your family. They want me to marry the the Watford's son. You know, Watford is the head of uh, Brokeley Village. So, 
so do my two dumb brothers. Alex is only a poor blacksmith apprentice. It's not even possible that my parents would agree our marriage. I'm getting away with Alex. Maybe they will forgive me as time passes. The, o the only regret is unable to see my little brother Cam when he is back from Wizard Academy. He is very sweet. I miss him. I see. So if that's your choice, then so be it. We will go to Weethon. We go. Thank you. All right, let's see if we can get a little bit more action before we end up breaking off the old first look. When enough ingredients gathered for the recipes, you may cook meals in the campfires to recover HP and gain buffs. New recipes can be unlocked by eating in the restaurantes. Oh, we can save here too. Cool. Cooking. Nope. Save. Yeah. So like I said, I'll probably play this a bit on my own just to see what what's what. I love Alex, although he isn't doing very well at the moment. I believe him. He is a strong man. I want to spend my life with him. I wish you could find your true love as well. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless us, everyone. Alright, let's see if I can do a little bit less terrible with my fighty abilities here. I should use my skills a bit more, too. I feel like I've, I've really undersold our skills. They hit hard, but they use the rage bar, which we refill by beating stuff up, so I mean, it's... Oh, I'd say kind of the perfect storm, but that's probably not accurate. Oh. So we used a few there. We got some meat chunks and other various things. Got hit once. One of the little ratty rats got past me and jumped on me. That wasn't great. Alright, we continue onward. Do At any point, do we need to head north? I feel like yes, but I don't know when or how. So the map thing might take a bit to actually get used to. Oh, we're getting om nommed up on. Ah, almost got past it. No, don't bite me, doggy. Alright, so we have a ra this thing. So apparently your heavy attack actually knocks them on their butt. And we seem to have full healed. I, I don't know if he dropped some sort of food that we got there, but... Yeah, the heavy attack knocks them down. The unfortunate reality is they can attack us while we're down. However, it doesn't appear that we can attack them. So that's a little less good for us. Right. Oh, oh, I say, I feel like we're almost to where we want to be. through one time. Oh, they have absurdly long tongues, apparently. Ah, oh, I tried doing like a, maybe a roll through attack. Doesn't look like it works. I'm just trying to play around, see what different things we can come up with. So the cool air combos are pretty neat. Uh, that looks like a cut mushroom right there at the tip of my sword. It's interesting. Alright, onward we go. I imagine if we make it to a boss, I'm just going to get wrecked. I feel like I, I'm not doing so good. My skills could definitely be improved upon. Well, we are at full health and nearly full rage. We're coming up to a maybe snowy area? Nope. Something ain't right here. The smell of death. Be careful, Lucia. We need to hurry. No, Alex. God, please bless us. Alex will be fine. Let's go. Lucia. No. Oh. Not like this. Oh. Oh, dang. Alex, my love. No. The sword. I recognize the sword. It belongs to my father. But my brother Willie has been coveting... Coveting? Sure. It for a long time. Now this bloody thing is penetrating Alex's cold body. How disgraceful. My apologies, Vivian, but it seems that my journey ends here. Please bring this necklace to my mother and tell him his daughter is dead my mother and tell him what Lucia you need to calm down thank you Vivian I'm calm please let me stay with Alex for a while you can return to the village from the main road I'll need some time with Alex do not worry about me I will stay alive Lucia is dead but I will live on 
She seems calm, but I know she is not all right. Dang it. I should head back first. Luckily, it's quite safe around here. Got a necklace to deliver, and the undead is rising. I need to check people in the village as well. Oh, listen to that music. Here lies Lucia and her beloved Alex. What shall I do? Where shall I go? Or where am I supposed to go? It's gonna block me. Alright, let's roll our way to victory, guys and gals. This might go a little bit longer than the like 25-30 minute mark, which is right now where we should break it off. I just want to see if maybe there's gonna be like a boss fight right away. I don't think that there will be, but you never know. Oh wait. Oh. Alright, so you're down. You are actually like down down, like on the ground down. Get beat down, boo. Alright, cool. So it looks like one of the ways you're going to be able to do well in this game is if you can manage to pin your opponent against the wall and just continue to combo them down with whatever chain attacks you want to use. I don't know if that'll work for everything, but that does seem to be... You don't want to have things on both sides of you. It seems to make things difficult. Oh, that's how you do a running attack. Oh, that's cool. Do we want to go in? Do we want to go... Well, okay, I guess we want to go in. I don't know if we're going to get like murdered along the way. <gasps> a monster! Stay where you are! Please, have mercy. It's here. Soul Reaper is here. Everyone is dead. Well, that does seem not good. Yeah, like I said, I wanted to at least maybe get to a single boss. I'll let you guys see what's up. But, it looks like that is not going to be in the cards. At least not right away. So the pig seems to be stuck in his own head here. Oop, wrong button. Whee! And gone. Uh, I feel like I should go back to that house now. Alright, so we know that rolling is not the fastest way, but actually running. And yes, it is sad that I forgot about running. Oh. This looks bad. Or amazing. Kind of glad I came back here. Oh, we got the leather armor. Let's see if we can equip it now. Armor, leather, equip. Sure. Does it appear on her now? So she's going to be the same character model the whole way through. Which is fine. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. We've defeated the statues. We have the danger music playing now. Do things respawn that we're going to have to refight? Or are we good to go? Nope, they respawn. Yeah. Got them all. So there is a perfect uh, thing as what I was talking about. You pin them into a specific area and then you can just beat them down without having to worry about getting an attack from behind or them breaking free. Now the pig still did manage to charge away a bit, so it wasn't 100% foolproof, but it worked out. Alright, so I'm assuming this is going to be where the boss is. Worthless. Monster, what have you done? Ah, potential candidate. Embrace the trial by death. Oh, okay. Dang, this is going to be a heck of a fight. It's coming. Oh! That did not work at all how I had planned. Eh. Eh, why, why is my charge attack not working? Uh oh. Oh, this is definitely not going well for me. I should probably use a potion. Come on, get him! Oh. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, so we're kind of getting destroyed here. It's not going well. Consumable. We're going to have to eat some stuff here. 
Probably an apple. I, I don't know how much... Yeah, we do have enough. Um, let's go with that. We'll use the potion there. Carrot. Some spinach. I'm gonna try our very best. I feel like beating these guys to death here, or at least attempting to. It's not really working for me. Oh, that's not good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like I'm getting wrecked kind of badly here. I'm not entirely certain if I, like I said, I need to defeat the Undead Horde, or if I need to defeat the boss himself, and we got defeated. But that's okay. I'm okay with losing a, a fight. And maybe this is a fight that we're supposed to lose. Grr, I lost. Too exhausted to fight. No. Worthless, I shall feed on your soul. Oh, well that can't be good. In the name of Viride! Oh, hello. Exactly what she just said. Obey my command. Fusion type zero one. Incineration. Well, that was effective. Lucky monster making me. Witch of Viridi. Rise my own. Not sure. Raise my own hand for you. Yeah, this vessel seems. has reached its limitation. Witch of Viridi, how interesting. Excellent potential. I shall claim this vessel now. <gasps> oh no! Reversing curse, how dare you. But it's not going to work on Witch of Viridi. Viride, I don't know. What a pity. We shall see. <laughs> you are mine. It is, is it gone? Looks like we have a survivor here. Move her inside, Cam. Oh, it's it's her bro. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, well, there you go. So you got to see that my skills, while still pretty lame, weren't necessarily supposed to uh, carry the day there. We were supposed to lose that fight. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to do it for the first look. I hope you guys enjoyed. The game, once again, is called The Vagrant. It's by OTK Games. It releases tomorrow, June 9th, 2017 into Steam Early Access. As you can see, the translation not 100% up on par, but who knows what the Steam Early Access version is going to offer, and I'm sure by the time the game is fully released, it will be 100% fine and fantastic. You, you get the, the it gets the point across, you get the idea of what the story is going for. It's not, you know, unplayable. The gameplay itself seems to be perfectly fine. I do like it. It's going to take a little bit to learn, like, the different combos and things, and it looks like there's a pretty extensive skill tree and all sorts of other stuff, so... I think there's a lot here. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But for now, we're going to well, say goodbye, and we'll come back to this once it's fully out. Anyway, folks, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll all be down below in the description of the video, as it often is. And until the very next First Look video or anything else that you watch on the channel, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>